Hello everybody and welcome back. This is going to be another kind of discussion type of video, but it's not going to be a movie discussion video. It's going to be a gaming discussion video, like video game type of thing. And yeah, I, I think this is a really cool thing to talk about. And basically it is, do you complete your video games? Um, like, do you complete a game to its full or do you kind of complete the story or do you complete it to 100%? There's so many kind of different ways I guess it could go. And kind of my thoughts on the completing games and stuff like that and um, like have I ever, which ones do it all, you know. For me it's more how, like, have I ever completed any games? I am not the best um, completist of games, um, but I will kind of go into my whole back thing of it. I don't know if I've done a video about gaming from when I was younger. I know I've done some gaming nostalgia ones, but I don't think I've really talked about what I had. But So the first kind of thing, well, I had a Game Boy first, but the first kind of console I had was a PS1. I loved the heck out of my PlayStation 1 and I had Spyro, the first Spyro, and I also had Spyro Year of the Dragon, is that like the third Spyro? And I came close to completing both of them, um, but I was seven when I got my PlayStation 1 and you know they have the um, uh, what memory card, you know you put it in the front because it's like old like that, you put the thing in the front and you have these memory cards, I used to have a bunch of the memory cards because I had quite a few games and you know I'd switch out the memory cards, they didn't have like a certain amount of space on them and I feel like at one point my game got lost and I never had the near end one um, so you know I'd just start again and you know whatever I never completed Spyro but I came so close, I'm pretty sure, I don't know how I thought I was close there must have been a way I knew I was near the end um, oh, there must have been, otherwise how would I know? Um, hmm but I feel like I was near the end, unless I just thought that, but I'm pretty sure I was. And then Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, I had that game on PlayStation 1 and I actually completed that, which was exciting, so that was good. And then I also had Rayman 2, which I loved so much, and I played it and played it and played it and played it and played it. I got really far, but I never finished it, and that's sad because I really loved that game. Uh, but I, it got really hard and I just couldn't do it, I got stuck. And that's why I didn't finish it. If I, when I was younger, if I ever didn't finish a game, it was because I got stuck and couldn't, I couldn't get further. Like I got stuck. And I think it's really interesting because as well, back then, like now, if I get stuck on a game, what do I do? I go on YouTube and I look it up. I try and figure it out myself first. But then, you know, I go on YouTube, I look it up, and somebody on YouTube magically tells me how to do it. But back then, you know, that didn't happen. So I was just stuck. And I was like, oh, great, I'm stuck on my game. Um, yeah. So I just get stuck. And then I had a PlayStation Two. Um, and I think I've talked said about this before, but basically my dad needed to buy a DVD player and I said, well, you should get a PlayStation 2 because they do, uh, they play DVDs and games. So he got a PlayStation 2, but I don't live with my dad, so I didn't play, I couldn't play on it all the time um, until, you know, he got a different DVD player and I was able to take it with me home. Um, but I, I only then had one game for it and it was Simpsons Hit and Run. And like, I got so close to completing that game as well, but I don't, I feel like I might have but I'm not sure, like, you know, your missions and stuff, I'm not sure if I completed all the missions. Um, but I pretty much almost did, I'm sure, because I played the heck out of that game, because I had only that one game for ages. So every time I was at my dad's house, I'd just play that game. But it was a great game, I loved Simpsons Hit and Run. It was a great kind of one game to have, and then, you know, after a bit, I, after maybe a year or so, I got some more games. Um, but yeah, I had that one for ages. And then nowadays, my problem with completing games is, I don't, I don't remember the last time I did complete a game, and I don't really kind of sit down for long enough to play the game through um, and it's not necessarily that I get stuck it's just that I don't get back to it or I get a new game and move on to that you know that kind of thing but lately I've definitely kind of set myself a situation of games that I do want to complete and finish because I think you know it's really great when you complete a game and never do it very often so I really want to set some that I really want to finish and complete not necessarily to 100% though because you know it's all about going back and getting all the extra bits and yeah I'm not the best at that because then I kind of be like oh, okay I've done this I've been here um, I don't really do like 100% but I just like you know the whole story you got most of the things what you needed and stuff like that um, the, the closest game I've come to completing um, lately was Super Mario uh, 3D, 3D World on the Wii U I love that game I'm quite close to the end like I've, I think I've seen online like it's a special bit um, where Rosalina is in it and I'm not at that bit yet because I need to go back and get more stars um, so that's kind of a problem, I'm like, oh, okay, when I had to go back to get more stars to get into the next place, it's like, oh, you know, I kind of put it on hold for a bit, but I definitely want to go back and complete that game, that's definitely what I want to complete, um, because like, like I said, I need to go back and get the stars so I can get to the other bit, but yes, yeah, so that's my thing with that, that's the one I've come, like, closest to completing, um, as of, like, recent years, um, but yeah, so I'm not really the best at completing games, 
but I definitely want to kind of improve on that because I've been really enjoying playing games at the moment and I don't know, I've just kind of been going for a phase, I've really been enjoying it, really having a great time with it. So yes, but I'd definitely love to know your thoughts down in the comments below. Do you complete games or does it not bother you to complete your games, do you just play them along? And if you do, do you, have you ever completed a game to 100%? Do you like to get the 100%? Do you like to get all the stuff? Uh, you know, what's your thoughts on these, on these, on this? And yeah, I'd just love to know what you think. So until then guys, I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up if you enjoyed these discussion videos. Subscribe if you haven't already or if you are a newbie. And I'll see you then. Goodbye!